Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Razalt and welcome to my Samsung Dex videos. So today I'm going to be showing you um, this app. This app is called Desktop Hub, Dex, Dex Hub. And basically this is an app that, that, that helps you to enhance your Android desktop experience. And this is quite a popular app amongst Samsung Dex users and the community. As you guys, as you guys can see, it has 10,000 downloads and a fairly um, good rating and review amount of, uh, amount of reviews here. So this is very much a popular app. In this video, I'm just simply going to explain to you guys how the app works and give you my honest opinion on, on, it, on it and just simply give you a general review of the app. Um, so yeah, let's simply go ahead and look at Desktop Hub, Dex Hub. So I'm just going to say open. So I actually use this app. So by default, um, the desktop enhanced mode is, is disabled and, and basically it costs money to get that. Um, so I bought the desktop up the, the, the desktop enhanced mode and I actually do use it um, let's go ahead and just simply look at the app and see what it is and yes yeah, so, so to start off with you can change your phone volume here for some reason um, I think this is very unnecessary as you can already do it without the app but it, it, it's just some it's just a, a neat feature to have within the app um, to control off with all of your desktop stuff so yeah then the, there's a volume here, you can change the volume and stuff differently. So every time you plug in your phone to text, then the volume can be different than the volume on your phone. So you can change that. I like to have, have mine enabled, but it's quite um, useless because it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, mine is enabled by default. Um, then the Wi-Fi settings, you can, you can for instance, um, every, time, every, time you, every time you plug your phone to text, then you can tell it to automatically make sure that Wi-Fi is enabled. And if you enable this, then Wi-Fi will, wi -Fi, wi -Fi will automatically be disabled as soon as you unplug the phone. So with these settings, um, let's say for instance, I'm currently on mobile data and I get to my text, so I plug my phone into text and it will, then it will automatically um, switch to switch, switch my Wi-Fi on and when I unplug text, then it will, then it will automatically switch my Wi-Fi off. This is quite useful to have. Um, yeah, and the same goes for Bluetooth. You can switch, switch Bluetooth, Bluetooth on when you plug in text and switch off when you unplug text. Let's go to this device monitoring disabled in, in, in Android 8. Honestly, I think that um, if this device monitoring does not work in does not work in Android, in Android eight, then then they should just, then they should simply um, remove this whole window here. It should not be even here. Um, either either the either they should either, the, either either they should make it work or remove the window. It's as simple as that. It's useful. It's it's useless. It's useless to display a a window or panel here that just says device monitoring is disabled for me. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running Android eight. And most people who actually use um, Samsung Dex has already updated, updated to Android 8 also. So most people can, cannot use this anyway. Um, then about this layout and GUI. Um, I think these panels are, are, not, are not really um, well positioned. I think it could be much better, better positioned. If I um, make the window smaller, then the buttons does look bit better. It's better positioned. Definitely much better positioned. But in maximize mode, the, position, the positioning of the buttons and panels and everything is just horrible. I don't think it's, it's, it's positioned very well. Then you can enable hub sounds here. This is just, just this just simply um make um, makes a sound when you plug in takes and plug in stuff. I prefer, I prefer to have it off. It's very it's very irritating every time when the, your phone makes a sound when you plug it in and stuff like that. So I leave that off definitely. Then the HDMI audio on startups when this when this is enabled. Then every time you plug in your phone into Samsung Dex, then it will automatically switch the audio output to HDMI. So here you can see my 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 display device is my HDMI. So every time I plug in Dex, it will automatically switch my audio to this one. And this is um basically to allow my audio my audio to come out to come out of my monitor because my, my my monitor has speakers currently plugged in. And so basically it's my it's my it's my it is my HDMI audio. So I prefer, so I prefer to, have, to have this on. Um, so let's go ahead to brightness reduction. So this does, 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 not, does, not, does not work for me every time, but sometimes it does work. So I'm not sure why. Um, basically, this, this just adds a, blue, adds a blue light filter to your display and you can enable it. Um, but yeah, I prefer to have my normal on, the, on this brightness. And then through Windows, something that just simply tells you to go ahead and enable the desktop developer mode. So you can go to, I, I have a video on that, but you simply go to Samsung Dex, about Samsung Dex and enable developer mode. 
and all this um, to win it does is simply tell you to go and enable um, the developer mode so yeah the auto launch is quite useful i think i think this i think this i think this i think this is one, one i think this this is one of the most useful features in the in the app so basically um come on I finish loading basically this allows you to to quickly um open up an app when you plug in your phone so as soon as you plug in your phone then all the apps you have you have selected here automatically launch basically um let's say for instance i let's say for instance, instance i select um assassin's creed identity so every time now when i plug my phone into text then in this game assassin's creed, assassin's creed identity automatically open up for me so yeah one thing i don't like about this is that i think this level could, could be better i think they could make the two panels a bit larger in terms of this of course of course i, I mean it, it looks nice when it's in a small window but when it's full screen it should be wider and i think there's a, i think i think the developer should also implement a search here um as you can see i have a bunch of apps i have um seven seven hundred apps and games on my phone as you can see let's, 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 let's actually go to the play store i'm gonna go to um there Close. So I'm going to go to this three buttons, my apps and games, installed, and as you can see here, I currently have 658 games in games or apps installed, and I've had more than this. So I have a bunch of apps and games on my phone. Come on, it's basically 700 apps and games, and yeah, let's say for instance I want to find a game here. I I have way too many apps and games installed. It's it's, it's too difficult to find the correct one. So I think um the, the the developer should definitely implement a search button here in order for me to actually search for the game or app that I would like to find. It it makes it, it will make this um much easier and faster. And you can to to reduce the workload on desktop startup. It will be based to this to delay. It's basically you can consider the delay time here. Let's say instance you open up. Let's say instance you put this to um a hundred. And basically, every time, every time, every time, every time you plug in your phone into text, then the apps will open up a hundred seconds after um, it has been plugged in. So I simply, so I simply um, don't use this. I don't, have, I don't have any apps that I, that I would like to have to open by default when I go into text mode. Um, but yeah. Then the last one, is, or the, the other ones, is um, keyboard settings. So every time you click on this, then it will simply open up your keyboard settings in the in, in the settings app and same goes for for system settings it will simply open up your system settings okay and let, okay so, so let's go ahead to the, to the desktop enhancements so it's basically a mode you have to pay for and i currently have mine enabled and this is basically the main reason why i currently have the app installed i have it installed for this keyboard shortcuts and that's, 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 that's basically the only uh, main reason i have this app still so you can enable keyboard functions and when you have this enabled then automatically all of these shortcuts will work that's, that's quite nice so i can for instance press um meta plus y for youtube as you can see here or i can press for instance um meta plus r for the terminal which is the play store material terminal so i'm not sure what this app is i actually never never, never used this app before but you can press that for that app. Um, voice assistant is Windows Key V. It opens. That makes me choose between Google and Bixby Voice. Although I wish I wanted to be Cortana, so I'm not sure why Cortana is not listed there. But my voice assistant is Cortana. I would like for it to be Cortana. So I'm not I'm not very happy with this. Um, but that's not the app. It's the operating system. I can to open up the power menu. So. As you can see, um, the okay, yeah, that's basically it. Just, just, just these shortcuts. Basically, this is the main reason why I actually use um, desktop hub. Then here you can disable um, shift plus space language switch. Basically, when when you're typing on your Samsung Dex, then every time you, you press shift plus space, then it will automatically switch switch to a different language that, that, uh, that you have selected. So I so I dis disable this. I prefer to not have this. I would like to. Be able to press shift and space and not switch a language and then and then here you can replace meta plus e with file explorer so by default um meta plus e is actually email so if i have if i have this disabled and i press this then it will open up my email client 
I do not want this email client. That this is a shitty email client. I prefer to have um, Outlook or Samsung or um, Microsoft Outlook. So I prefer to have that have this on, and then every time every time I press Windows key plus E, then it opens up my file explorer. So I prefer this by far. Okay, and then you can also enable a, an alternative start menu. So by default, when you click here on the start menu, then this is the start menu for um, Samsung Dex. You can um, enable their own start menu. So when this is when this is enabled, then you have this um, very why is it not working? Oh, you have to press the meta button for that. So every time you press the meta button, it opens up the start menu. So I press the button, but I'm not sure what the hell it's doing now. Um, let's let's wait, wait and see. Okay, so I have no idea what it just did. I pressed the meta button. Okay, so now it actually works. Um, so then so every time you press the meta button. They will have their own little start menu, as you can see here. And you can uh, alternate the start menu. So every time, every time I click this, when I press the start button, I can immediately type and start searching for a game. For instance, I can start, start searching for um, PUBG Mobile. Although I prefer having these off, um, I, li I like the default start menu more. Um, just, simply, just simply because it's, it's mostly faster for me. Although I prefer, I prefer the uh, um some I prefer some of the features of the of their start menu, but I just feel that the, that the built-in one is much faster for me, as you guys can see, compared to the one they have, which is a bit slow for me. And yes, guys, that's that's the case. This is um desktop hub. So in short, I really like this app. Although um I think the only reason I'm currently using it is for um, there's keyboard shortcuts. Um, it's the main reason why I still have this app installed. Um, so definitely, I would recommend to actually um, download the app and try it out for yourself. See what see what what works, and what doesn't work. Um, definitely do buy the desktop enhanced mode if you want keyboard shortcuts. I think the keyboard shortcuts is is very useful. So definitely buy the app, buy the buy this for you if you do want the keyboard shortcuts. It's very very useful to have. I really like the keyboard shortcuts. Um, I do not use everything here, but I do use a bunch of these things. Okay, actually, open up secure folder also. Let's start at Control Meta E. Okay, so I can actually use secure folder also. Now, thanks to the keyboard shortcut. Um, I have no need for secure folder though. So, yes, guys, that's basically it for this video. Um, this is my review of the desktop hub app. Um, you guys are welcome to let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this app. Do you guys use the app? Do you have you guys bought the app, the desktop enhanced mode? And well what are what are you guys mainly using this app for? I would actually love to know. And yeah, the main the main problem I have I have, I have, I have with this app is um well, the main thing I would like to see in this app. It's just simply right now it's a better GUI for these things as well as um, the true, oh, I mean the auto launch needs a search thing as well. That's basically it. Um, yeah, let's go to the Play Store. So I've actually actually already gave the app a rating. Um, yeah, I gave the two stars because I have, I have a problem with the app, but 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 this but this problem 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 is specific to my device. So you guys will, will not will not will not have to have that have that same problem, um, but by default I would actually give this app a five star rating if it was not for that one problem that I have. But that that problem is specific to my device because of, because of, because of, of because of certain apps that, that I have installed. And yes, guys, that's basically it. Um, but before we, but before we end this video, I actually have my own apps also. So if you search for Sean result in the Play Store, you'll see I have. Um, Result Color Picker and Dex, Dex Helper. You guys are welcome to go and install my apps also. And this, this is basically a color picker for graphic designers and for programmers. And this is also like a Dex Helper kind of app. A app that simply helps you. Um, it's it basically an app that gives you tips and advice for, for using Samsung Dex. Um, they also, I also have like a list of games that, 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 that I handpicked for, Sa for Samsung Dex. And yes, guys, that's basically it for this video. Um, Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more videos. And 
I need water and I'm gonna get water now because I'm out of breath and yes I'll see you guys in the next video make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more Sam's next videos bye bye